Being a great player does not equate to being a great manager. The likes of Diego Maradona, Hristo Stoichkov and Graham Souness prove that. However, it's still rare in the modern game for there to be managers who weren't at least half decent players. This seven is made up almost exclusively of very successful managers, none of whom had any noteworthy success as players. Here are our top seven managers who were useless as players. Gerard Houllier. Well known in England following his time at Liverpool and more recently with Aston Villa, Gerard Houllier never came close to breaking into professional football. Julio was training to become a school teacher when he was sent to spend a year working at a comprehensive school in Liverpool. A keen footballer, Julio joined the local amateur side also, but he was just that, a keen player, and never had any noticeable ability. When he returned to France, he began playing for amateur minnows AC Le Touquet, where he went on to become player manager, thus beginning his successful managerial career. Roy Hodgson Another former Liverpool manager, Roy Hodgson was a product of the Crystal Palace youth system, but he was never good enough to break into the Eagles' first team and dropped down the footballing pyramid to play for non-league side Tunbridge Wells before moves to Gravesend and Northfleet, Maidstone, Ashford, Berea and Carshalton. Odds are you've never heard of most of those teams and that's no surprise with the fifth tier being the highest level Hodgson ever played. As a manager, Hodgson has had success in Scandinavia, Italy and the Premier League but more recently had a less enjoyable spell as England manager. Luis Felipe Scolari Luis Felipe Scolari has won 20 trophies as a manager, including the World Cup with Brazil in 2002. But as a player, he was truly dreadful. Deployed as a no-nonsense type defender, Scolari is better at kicking opposition players than the ball. So bad was the young Scolari that he was known locally as Perna de Pau, which translates as wooden leg, a term commonly used in Portuguese-speaking nations for woeful footballers. In his eight-year career, the highest level Scolari ever played at was the third tier. Like Hodgson, Scolari had a rather humiliating 2014 World Cup, and he's currently managing Guangzhou Evergrande in China. Bill Struth With 30 trophies to his name, including 18 Scottish League titles, 10 Scottish Cup titles, and 2 Scottish League Cup titles, Bill Struth is one of the most successful managers of all time, yet he didn't play football at any level as a player. He was a keen sportsman, but his athletics where he excelled, before becoming a stonemason, and a career in football management never seemed likely. Having worked as a trainer at Clyde, he soon joined Hearts and eventually Rangers, where he would have such incredible success, winning 30 trophies in 34 years of management. Carlos Alberto Pereira The second former Brazil manager to make this list, whilst Luis Felipe Scolari may have been known as wooden leg, people could not mock Pereira's skills on the pitch, because he never took to one. He had zero playing experience, but having been a fitness coach for a number of years, he was asked to become a coach in Q8. Skip forward a few decades and Pereira has taken five nations to the World Cup. Q8, the United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, South Africa and Brazil, the last of which he's taken to two and won one in 1994. Andre Villas Boas Andre Villas Boas, or AVB as he's commonly known, is probably the most high profile active manager who has never played football at any level. That is to say not at amateur level, not at non-league level, not even for any academies that we know of. AVB began working for Sir Bobby Robson at the age of 16, and became immersed in the game from then on. At the age of 21 he was assistant to Jose Mourinho at Porto, and managing the British Virgin Islands national team. By the time he was 29 he was managing in the top flight, and in 2011 he became the youngest man to ever win a European title as manager. Formerly of Spurs, Chelsea and Zenit, like Scolari, AVB is now managing in China at Shanghai SIPG, where he replaced another rubbish former player, Sven Goran Eriksson. Arrigo Sarchi I never realised that in order to become a jockey, you have to have been a horse first. Those were the words of Arrigo Sarchi in light of questions over whether someone who hadn't played the game at a decent level could ever manage a club such as AC Milan. There's no greater example of a fine manager who's far from being a fine player than Sarchi. When Italy faced Brazil in the 1994 World Cup final, the two managers were Carlos Alberto Pereira and Arrigo Sacchi, two men who had virtually no playing experience managing the biggest football match on the planet. Sacchi failed to make the grade with lowly Italian sides Fusignano and Bellaria, and became a shoe salesman instead. He soon got his break in management though, and after impressing with Parma he was given the AC Milan job, where he would make history. He quickly answered his critics in Milan, winning the Serie A title in his debut season, the club's first for nine years. His greatest achievement in management though was undoubtedly winning back-to-back -back European Cups in 1989 and 1990. He later managed Italy and Atletico Madrid, 
before returning to Parma, where he retired in 2001. So that's it for our top seven. Honourable mentions go to the likes of Jose Mourinho, Guy Roux, Sven Goran Eriksson, Juan de Ramos, Arsene Wenger, Rafa Benitez and Louis van Gaal. Thanks for watching, give us a like if you enjoyed the video and go ahead and subscribe to HITC7s and check out some of our other videos if you haven't already.